Um, in this video, we're going to see how uh, given in a complex number in exponential form, how to plot it on the Agand diagram. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is to see how to express it in rectangular form. And then once it's in rectangular form, of course, we can extract the real part and the imaginary part. Um, so these are the numbers we're going to work with, which are all in exponential form. Now, um, we have seen that um, given a number in rectangular form, um, then we can write it in the form R C I S theta, which is uh, your uh, polar form. And then from here, this is going to be equal to R uh, e to the i theta. Um, so this number um, is going to have uh, the um, x component or the horizontal component is going to be x and the vertical component is going to be y. So that's going to be x is going to be y. And then this is going to be argument which is theta and that is um, the radial distance from the center. So this is the distance from the center and this is the angle made with the um, horizontal positive real axis. So that is the positive real axis side is the negative real axis. All right, so um, we're just going to start with the plotting. Um, so we're going to uh, try and plot uh, the first uh, three numbers. So if uh, this is our account diagram. Um, so first we have got uh, z equals to 2e to the i pi on 2. Um, so the thing we're going to do uh, is, uh, so from here, the radial distance from the origin is 2. So I'm just going to make a circle of uh, radius 2 here. Okay. So that's going to be 2. So the complex number is going to be on that circle. Uh, but then the, um, the argument is pi on 2. So maybe um, let's uh, uh, just uh, talk about what the arguments are on the axes. Um, so starting um, um, here, obviously this is 0 degrees. This one is going to be 90 or pi on 2. And then here, this is going to be 180 or pi. And then here, this is going to be uh, 270 or 3 pi on 2. And then coming back uh, to the uh, positive real axis, that's going to be 2 pi. Then if we uh, go the clockwise route, uh, 3 pi over 2 is going to be the same as negative pi over 2. And uh, pi is going to be the same as negative pi. Uh, so we're just going to keep those ones in mind. So the for the first complex number, the argument is pi over 2. So that means this number is going to be located here, 2e to the i pi over 2. Um, so that's where that number is going to be located. The second number, the radial distance is 6. So we're going to have to um, sketch a bigger circle. Um, so suppose this is our uh, bigger circle. And imagine that this is 6 there. So the complex number is going to be on that circle. Then here we've got 7 pi over 3 as our argument. 7 pi over 3. Uh, maybe just uh, we're going to work this out here. Um, so in degrees, this is 7 times 180. 
then divide it by 3. 180 over 3 is 60 times 7. So this is going to be 210 degrees. So this complex number is going to be located there. So the distance from the origin is 6. The angle here is 210 degrees or 7 pi over okay that doesn't look correct um, 7 times 6 is going to be actually what is 7 times 6 7 times 6 is going to be 420 uh, then when the angle is bigger than 360 you take away 360 so 420 minus 360 is actually 60 so this complex number is uh, in actual fact going to be in the first quadrant uh, at uh, 60 degrees so there you are so that's going to be 6 e to the 7 pi i over 3 that distance is 6 there this angle here is 7 pi over 3 so that is the second one then if we go to the third one the radial distance is 3 so we're going to have to we just do another circle here the circle is of radius 3 then the angle is negative 3 pi so negative 3 pi is the same as negative 3 times 180 so that is going to be uh, 3 times 8 is 24 so that's going to be negative 540 and so again when this happens we take away a multiple of 360 so if we add 360 to this so negative 540 uh, plus 360 uh, then we're going to find that this is negative 180. Okay, now negative 180 is simply that angle there. So that means our complex number is going to be located there. So that is 3e to the minus 3i pi okay and then for the fourth one uh, the radial distance is root 2 um, so maybe let's do a uh, different sketch here so this one the radial distance is root 2 um, so just going to um, take this circle imagine that is root 2 there and then the argument is negative pi on 4 okay negative pi on 4 so that means going from the positive real axis we're going to be going in the clockwise direction Pi on 4 is 45, so this one is going to be right here, so that's going to be root 2e to the minus i pi on 4. So that's going to be those uh, first four numbers if we plot them in the arc and diagram. Now, so notice that uh, in terms of the exponential form, all that matters is the radial distance from the origin and then also the angle then when we start expressing these numbers in rectangular form 
then we ask ourselves the question what is the horizontal distance and what is the vertical distance so that is where the x and the y come in so for instance for this number that is going to be our real component and this is going to be the imaginary component and then for each of these that's exactly uh, what we're going to do so for this one for instance it's going to be your real uh, your imaginary component and that is going to be the real component okay um now so the question is how do we then find the rectangular form given the complex number in exponential form so how do we go uh, from this form back to this form the answer is we go back to that form via the polar form so from there we express things in polar form and then once it's in polar form we've already seen how to go to rectangular form by simply evaluating so let's uh, uh, start with uh, part a then so in part a we have got z uh, equal to uh, 2 e to the i pi on 2 so 2 e to the i pi on 2 so um, this is the same as 2 c i s pi on 2 and so this is 2 cosine pi on 2 plus i sine pi on 2 and then we can simply just uh, uh, plug these in the calculator okay so if we simply uh, make sure that our calculator is in the radians mode then we can punch this exactly as it is so we have got cosine pi on 2 and that's going to be equal to 0 then we're going to have sine pi on 2 and that's equal to 1 so this complex number is equal to 2i from which if we write that in coordinate form this is 0 2 so that is telling us that um, x is 0 y is equal to 2 of course if you remember our plot this number is right on the vertical axis and uh, it's located a distance of 2 from the origin okay um, we are going to stop this video here and uh, continue in the next video with uh, the other complex numbers.